All right, girlies, we're back at it again. Um, so today I'm going to be doing eyeshadow. Okay. Um, it's going to be a pink look. So I'm going to show you how I do it. This is my palette right here. Don't mind the scratches in the front. It's Pro Fusion. So I've had it for a while. Don't mind my little baby. So watch along as I go along. Let's get started. If I can open it. All right. So first, we are going to put a little contour on the eyes um, just to hold the color in so it can stick a little better. And you know, cover a few flaws as we go along. And just grab your blending brush and just set it in. That way we can start applying our eyeshadow. If y'all wanna see how I do my brows or my lashes, I have videos on those as well. So just go on to my page and watch in there. All right. Okay, so I'm only gonna do this eye, not this eye, so y'all can see the difference. But you can already see where it is covered with foundation up there. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going, I don't know why I threw my brush down. I'm gonna get my first color. It's gonna be a lighter pink and it's gonna just be the shade underneath that I'm gonna blend everything with. So we're going to start putting it on. Make sure you tap your brush to make sure you don't get any extraness. You don't want the excess falling all over your face. I mean, you're going to clean it anyway, but it's less work if you kind of tap it. Make sure you get in that crease too. So try to keep your eye open, that way it takes the shape of the eye and you don't kind of make a crazy looking funk look with it being all lopsided. And you just leave a gap between your eyelid and your eyebrow don't go all the way up to the eyebrow. As long as you have a gap, honey, you are good. Let me see. I'm going to fix this lighting up quick because it's a little bright. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. I'm just going to finish putting a little bit right here because I feel like I can't see it. Oh. Looking cute, look at me, mm-hmm, girl, honey, you do it. Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna do a shade, a, a, a shade a little bit darker, not too much dark. Not too much darker, I don't know why I said not too much dark. Um, let me see. And this one's gonna go from the inner eye to the outer. We're gonna go ahead and wet this brush um, just so it can help blend. This is what I'm using right here to wet the brush. I don't know if you can see it. Probably better like that. And you just mix it on there, let the brush get a little bit wet, and then re dip it in your eyeshadow. That way it helps make the color stick and pop. Yes, honey, you want it to pop. Okay, that looks better. 
that looks a lot better mm -hmm. and then you kind of just blend it in so go from the corner of your eye and blend out try not to go too high above the crease stay right in the crease that way it doesn't look all crazy and you're not going out looking like Corella DeVille or something rub it in the crease make sure you blend it in well because you don't want lines and you don't want it to look tapered real ugly okay so those are those two colors I don't know if you can see it see the difference from this eye and this eye mm-hmm okay so the other color I have I'm gonna use a different brush the other color I have is one from my BoxyCharm. This is the palette. This is a bit newer. These are the colors in there because you can't see. Um, and I'm going to be using the pink out of here in the corner crease. And I'm going to wet my brush as well so it can stick because I like the pop. It's not for everybody. If you don't like the pop, you don't have to wet the brush, but I just feel like it makes it stick a lot better. Okay. Don't forget to tappy tappy. And then for this, you're just gonna put it right in the corner of your eyelid and brush inwards. And in the crease. If you don't know where to stop, stop at the tip of your eyebrow. Where it's diagonal. Like that. Um, that way you don't go too far out. Because then, like I said, the craziness happens again. And then I'm going to use a different brush to blend as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Look at that eye. Very, very cute. Okay. So I'm going to get my blending brush again. Blow it off and kind of just blend in so it mixes up and it doesn't look tapered. If you always want to blend, don't forget. Because if you forget, you could be looking a little silly. Okay, and I like to squeeze my brush whenever I'm going into the crease of my eye. That way it doesn't go up too high and just blend in there. Try to keep your eye as open as possible um, so you can see your crease and you don't go off from it. Mm -hmm. You can see that blend in there now. And then last but not least, I'm going to put a little shimmer shimmer in the corner of my eye. Just so it can be poppity pop as well. And it's gonna go right in there and kind of blend up and out so it can blend in with the lighter pink mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those lashes got stuck together would you look at that honey yes mm, 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 mm. not done yet don't go anywhere so next i'm going to put a little shimmer just because i love 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 glitter you just do it just do it if you have glitter put the glitter make it pop i'm gonna wet it make sure that glitter sticks because i want the beauty and it's going to be from the boxy charm as well it's going to be this pink over here I'm just gonna rub it on there. 
Now be very careful with glitter. Now this is for your eyes, so don't go thinking you can just put any glitter on your eyeball. Because you can seriously hurt yourself and you don't want that. And kind of just tap it on there because the glitter, you want it on there a little bit thick. So it can shimmer in the sun. Shimmy, shimmy, honey. Yes. I hope y'all are enjoying this video. And would you look at that? That is the finishing product. Beauty, beauty. Get that lighting a little bit better. Mm-hmm. You can see shininess. Mm-hmm very cute thanks for watching guys um don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to comment give me the good the bad and the ugly all feedback is good feedback you live and you learn from everything um tune in for next time